Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be a really quick review of the new face. This is the Trinity toning device. And I got this around, I think, Black Friday in 2019. So I've had it for about a year and three or four months. So if you've never heard of this product, it's a facial toning device. And it's supposed to kind of just stimulate the muscles in your face or wherever you use it. And it's almost like a workout for your face. The reason I bought this is originally I wanted to try a Forma facial, which they run about $250 here per facial in Toronto. And But you do have to buy a series of them. So I felt like, okay, even though this little device, it is expensive, it's not nearly as expensive as a package of those. So I wanted to see if this worked. So this is the regular size one. It also comes in a mini version. Probably if I were to buy it again, I would have bought the mini version. I didn't realize it at the time, um, just because your face isn't that big. So I feel like the mini version, it's a lot cheaper. It would do just as good of a job, I'm assuming. If you guys out there, if you've tried both of them, let me know. But I'm assuming the mini one would be just fine. So the regular version right now, this is in Canadian dollars. It retails for about 405 at Sephora. And the mini one retails for 238 So they're not cheap by any means. I did get this around Black Friday, so I got a very good deal on it. I would recommend not paying full price. Or if you do get it at Sephora, get it during a time that they have like some sort of uh, promotion going on. You can also get it on Amazon, but try to get some sort of a coupon code. I don't really think it's worth paying full price. I probably paid a little more than half price for this device. So they recommend the first two months that you have this product to use it five times per week and after two to three times per week for maintenance. So the first six months that I had this product, I used it religiously. I was very proud of myself. I stuck with it. I would use it about four to five times per week only taking a couple days off. And I will say, I, I don't necessarily have anything bad to say about this. I do like it, except the results are not long lasting. I thought by using this, the results would be really good. Initially, right after I use it, my skin does feel tighter and toned, a little bit plumper. But the next morning when I wake up, it's totally back to normal. I have not seen any long-term effects whatsoever. Um, the area that I really want it for, you can kind of see like I'm starting to get lines here. It's just part of aging. And my neck, I noticed too. Um, so I was hoping that this would help. So they do suggest in the little manual that this comes with to do, say, the right side of your face first and then take a before and after picture of you only doing one side of your face. I tried doing that, but to be honest, there wasn't that big of a difference. I found a picture from 2019 before I bought the new face device. So that's what my skin looked like before. And then as of today, and to be honest, I actually feel like I look worse today. Obviously I've aged about a year and a half, but it definitely, I, I don't think that it lifted my skin at all in that time frame. Personally, when I use this, I can notice a little bit of a difference. It just looks like your skin is more plump, youthful, radiant. And the skin actually feels like tightened and toned. But like I said, the next morning when you wake up, it's totally back to normal. I see no, for myself, I, I know this has a lot of good reviews, but for myself, I haven't noticed any long lasting results at all. I asked my boyfriend though, like, can he tell a difference? And he was just like, no, I don't notice any difference. Personally, I can feel a little bit of a difference though. I know if you do read the reviews of this on some sites, people either really love it or they said it didn't work at all. So I would say that this is worth trying out. A lot of other people said too, their device died after a certain amount of time. I obviously have not had that experience yet. And the charge lasts really long in almost, you know, a year and four months. I've only charged this thing twice. And to be honest, the last time I charged it, I just did it because I'm like, I haven't charged this in a while, but I don't even think it was dead. I will say the little dock that it sits on is a little bit flimsy, which I don't like. They could have made it sturdier because you have to be careful. Um, you know, it doesn't really lock in properly. I'll, I'll show you a close up in a second. So this is the little dock that the device sits in. So you can kind of see it doesn't really have anything that locks it in. It's literally just sitting there and I notice if it's off a little bit, it won't charge properly. So just be careful that you don't bump it and just ensure that it is charging properly. So see, I have it sitting there. It's not charging right now. You really have to make sure. There we go. So that's just one little thing that I think they could have improved. I think that they could have had something where this locks into. 
So basically how you use it, it comes with jelly, which that's the only downside too. I find that you have to use a lot of the gel that it comes with. Um, so it's almost like you're doing a little ultrasound <laughs> on yourself. People have also said that you can use aloe vera gel and that works just as well. But personally, I have tried the green and the clear aloe vera gel. It did not work at all. So I would suggest that you use the gel. You have to put a decent amount on. I notice if you don't put enough gel on, it kind of stings. So you will feel with this little tool when it's on, when it gets close to your hairline, you can feel your hairline moving. Like it's actually pulsing. At first I thought, I'm like, is it really gonna do anything? But you can really notice it when it gets to the hairline. So when you turn it on, I've always used it on the high setting. That's the little noise. So basically I'll show you to do your neck, you go over each area three times, it suggests in the manual or, or more, whatever you have time for. So you go up, like up in a sweeping motion like that, and then along your jawline, and then across the forehead, kind of up, up and out. So that's the motion. Um, these little tips are very cooling and I find it's like a good lymphatic massage as well. And then just to clean it, I just always take a little cotton pad with some alcohol and wipe it clean. And then I just have like this little carrying case that I put it in. So I would say out of five stars, I would rate this about a 3.75. I can't quite give it four stars just because the results are not long lasting. I thought it would be a little bit better that way. But am I mad that I spent my money on it? No, not at all. If this died, would I repurchase it again? Probably not at this point. I don't mind spending the money on the initial investment, but if it broke again, I just probably wouldn't bother repurchasing it. I find now after the six month mark, I got a little bit lazy because I wasn't really seeing long lasting results. So now I just do it maybe one to two times a week. If I did have photos coming up or maybe a special event or vacation, I would probably use this a little bit more. And I feel like in combination, this and good skincare, it can make a difference. I am really interested though, if any of you out there have tried the Forma Facial, but you also have this, can you let me know how does it compare? Does the Forma Facial, do the results last a little bit longer? Because I don't mind investing money in that if the results last. So should you spend your money on this? I feel like if you're into skincare and you have some disposable income, give it a go because a lot of people do really like it. Probably though, if you don't wanna spend a lot, get the mini version, get it on sale. If this broke, would I repurchase it again? Probably at this point, no, because I'm not really seeing long lasting results. If I did notice the results even maybe lasted a few days, I probably definitely would purchase it again. But you really have to keep up with this in my opinion, like every day, every other day. And it's just kind of getting to the point, it's like, how many more things can I do? You know, you're supposed to exercise, eat right, brush, floss, do all this skincare, hair care, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I feel like I could just spend all day, every day taking care of my body. So it's just kind of what you want to add to your routine. Um, but am I mad that I spent money on this in the first place? No, absolutely not. I think this is a nice addition. Um, I'm glad that I have it, but it's not a necessity. I'm, I wouldn't die if I didn't have this. I feel like if it was really, really a miraculous product, everyone would know about it, but I don't think that's the case. Um, but you know, in comparison to the price of Forma Facials, this is not a bad price. If you can get it on sale, you know, this is equal to maybe one, one and a half Forma Facials, if you know what I mean. I would recommend though, buy the new face brand of gel. I think that makes a big difference. I don't think in my personal experience, aloe vera did nothing. So you don't wanna waste all that time in the morning or nighttime. And you wanna make sure this is effective. So use the gel, because it's designed to work with their own brand of gel. So thank you so much for watching and I'll link this one as well as the mini version um, in the description below. Bye guys.